Now, I don't prefer being behind a guy like this, but what else can I do? So now this is where patience comes in. Uh, you got some guy that's going to ride up on his bumper, try to make him do what you want him to do. <laughs> that's, that's asking for a problem. And this is really where patience comes in. Now, I know some of the things that I say, some of the things that I do, you have to question. Well, this guy talk about patience, but, you know, this right here kind of contradicts that. Now, it's, two, it's, it's different levels to it. You know, there's, well, you got aggressive, you got patience, you got uh, moderate, uh, you got a balance. You got balance. So if I was impatient or aggressive, then I would be trying to get around this guy. Because I'll tell you right now, I don't like being behind this guy. <laughs> Based on he was the way he was driving back there. But now, you off to, now back to what I was just talking about, personal development. Now, let me, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and show that to you. Now, see how this guy is driving? Now, how do I put myself in his shoes? How do I be more open-minded? How do I take into account things beyond myself? This guy might have been in an accident last week. He might have had a close call yesterday. Stop. He might have had a, close, had, a, had a close call this morning. Scared him to death. And he wished he could get off the highway right now, but he got to go to where he's going because he's supposed to be there at whatever time. Maybe he's going to work. Got a wife and kids to be. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting to be able to look at things from other people's perspective. That don't mean that I don't, that I don't want to get around them pretty bad. But, so why would you allow him, though, to piss you off so much that you're going to ride up on his bumper and try to make him do something different? That's my point. You see what I'm saying? So you got to look at that. See how this guy just jumped in front of him and slammed on the brake to get over? So you don't know what this guy has been through. So what I'm trying to explain now is how to revisit your your opinions and your actions again the critical thinking you ride up on this guy bumper something happened like this truck that pulled in front of him slam on the brake hit the uh, turn signal suppose he panicked look at this dump truck in front of this tractor trailer in the right over here and the tractor trailer is not backing off at all he's like <laughs> he pulled over there in front of me like that you need to go ahead on you know, I ain't slowing down. Hey, man. It's interesting out here when you pay attention to this stuff. As far as, uh, like I said, could you see a truck riding up on a car bumper? Because the car might be driving very stupid. But again, you only, you're jeopardizing not just the car, you're jeopardizing your own CDL. That is a ticket. That's a moving violation. Uh, ride up on somebody's bumper like that. And if there's an accident, you know how ugly that's going to be. That's your fault. So is it worth it? You know, is it worth it? So you got to use critical thinking, man. You got to use it, y'all. So how do you start? I, mean, I, wish I, could, I wish I could give you a precise and methodical uh, game plan to follow in order to increase your ability to do critical thinking but I just say I just say like I just asked you to do with um, monitoring your actions but think about the stuff that you're doing and, and, and ask yourself why do I feel this way why do I think this way why do I do things that way like I mentioned something about the parties why do you feel that way about the party you heard me talk about all these different groups why do you have your the opinions that you do of these different groups why do you, that's, I mean, I'm trying to find something universal and uh, common. Why do you feel that all strippers are, are hoes? It's not true. <laughs> it's just not true. You can say it all you want to. It's not true. Just like a person can say all police officers are bad. It's just not true. A person can say all truck drivers are renegades, uh, uh, lie on their logs, uh, are funky, uh, curse, uh, cheat. It's simply not true. You say it all you want to. But the question is, for people who feel that way, you got to ask yourself why you feel that way, why you think that way. You can say that, matter of fact, okay, let's make it even more complicated and a nuance. You can say that all drug dealers are evil. It's just not true. <laughs> you can say that all black people are good in basketball. It's just not true. You can say that all of them like fried chicken. It's just not true. Like watermelon. It's just not true. You can say that all white men can't jump. It's just not true. 
<laughs> you see what you see what I'm saying here is that if you have certain ideas and opinions about certain groups of people or people in certain occupations or whatever you get the point you got to ask yourself why where does that come from and so that's how you can start your critical thinking starting right there where where you are start where you at you know what I'm saying? Start where it matters most, right here in your everyday life. What do you think about a person who has obviously been going to the gym every day, getting it in? A lot of y'all got negative opinions about that guy. What do you think about, this is important, what do you think about people with a lot of money? A lot of y'all think negatively of them, but then you complain about not having enough money. Well, you see in my video I talk about cognitive dissonance. How do you expect to ever be in position to earn a lot of money if you if you feel negatively about anyone else who's ever earned a lot of money? It does not go hand in hand. Your subconscious mind works against you acquiring money because you keep saying that people who got money are evil. You see what I'm saying? So, what makes you believe that? What makes you believe that people with money are is evil and capitalism is is evil?